Hey guys, what's going on? So I just got my hands on a Sony Mavica FT87. This camera was made in 2001. An old school camera, a camera that is considered to be a compact camera. I know, it's ridiculous, right? This back in the day was considered compact. Well, you know, digital cameras came out really in the late 90s and even 2001, it was still, you know, they were still very hard to, um, be, to be obtained by a lot of people because they were actually quite expensive, ranging from $400 to $800, maybe even more. Now this camera comes with 1.3 megapixels, and which is really nothing compared to, to today's standards, right? I mean, I mean, your iPhone can probably take um, eight to 10 megapixel pictures. So um, not a lot, but back in the day, this was a lot, all right? And let's take a look at some of the features. First, you have the lens here. Uh, f-stop of 2.8 and focal length of 39 to 117 millimeters depending on the zoom it has a three times optical zoom which is controlled here and six times digital zoom branded there and you activate the flash by pressing this button now the back of the screen it is a 2.5 inch screen with 123,000 dots that make up the screen now 123,000 is not much because most digital cameras today are in the millions, the 1 million, 2 million, 2.5 million dot range to show really high resolution. Uh, remember, this has nothing about this speaks high definition, but for back in the day, um, it was considered a lot. Here's the shutter. You press it halfway down to activate autofocus and press again to hit the focus. All right. Um, not too bad for, uh, for the specs or back in the day. And of course, if you, if you haven't been exposed to this type of camera, you probably know that if you haven't, if you have, um, a digital camera, it saves the picture onto a small memory card. Well, back in the day, memory cards still haven't really hit mainstream yet. And so a lot of things were still saved onto a floppy disk. So yes, this is a floppy disk. You open it, you see see that element right there, right? That's where the data is stored in the floppy drive. If you if you have never seen one in real life, you probably recognize the shape of it, right? When you save a document, um, that's what the shape looks like. And I'm gonna just gonna pop this inside, like so, to load the floppy for recording images onto the disk. All right, so let's turn this thing on. All right, so let's turn this thing on. All right, so there's the logo. That's the screen. That there is my Polaroid, my Lego Polaroid camera. All right, so for the screen, the interesting thing is that if I turn it off, turn it back on, um, I'm not sure what purpose it serves because if you turn it off, you don't see much out of the screen, I, I guess, unless you're facing the camera into the sun because everything else is very dim. I do have to turn on the screen. And when I turn on the screen, it also turns on this light bar. And I don't know what purpose this light bar serves. But in any way, let's take a picture. I am right now in the still camera mode. All right. So here are some options I have here. Okay. And I'll probably get into a little later. All right. So I'm going to press the shutter halfway down and take a picture. So it's recording. The light is on and it makes a clicky sound. So what you're seeing here is that the camera is writing the picture to the floppy disk and it takes a little bit for it to, to write to. And there's a, f I think a focus button here for macro and up landscape and other types of nighttime photography. All right, so I'm gonna hit the macro function see if I get close to this thing here. There you go, it's recording. All right, so let's go to the playback and see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna review the pictures. So here's the macro shot. It actually came out, looks pretty nice on the screen, actually. Um, it was very nice and crisp and clear, and I got pretty close to, to that Lego piece. And then I'm gonna go to the other picture. All right, so what you're noticing is going back and forth between pictures is the lag, right? Because it's a floppy drive, it has to search for the right sector um, for that picture to show up. So I'm gonna do it one more time. 
right? It takes, it takes a, little bit of, a little bit of time. So what makes it annoying is if I want to delete something, I have to find the picture, a couple seconds there, all right? Activate the menu, go to delete, go to delete. Oh my goodness, this joystick is, or this pad is even very, very uh, accurate. But if I press down, yep, delete, okay. And then again here, it's clicking to delete the picture off the disc. All right, I wanna show you the battery that this thing has. The bottom is where the hatch is. All right, and it pops right out. So this is considered an extended battery. Very straightforward. It does not come with a wall charger that uh, you know most cameras come with today. But just because it doesn't come with a wall charger doesn't mean it doesn't come with a charger. It in fact comes with this power brick. That's right. This thing, this power brick is required to charge that battery for this thing. And to charge it, obviously, you gotta plug it in to a power source. And then here is the cover for, for the charger. All right, and then you're just gonna stick that thing in. And there it is, and that's gonna charge. I don't know how long it's gonna charge. It takes a charge, but um, I haven't drained the battery yet. So um, from experience, it shouldn't take too long to charge um, this kind of battery. All right, so yep, there you have it. This is the Sony Mavica FD87. And what, I'm gonna, what we're gonna do next is I am gonna take a stroll outside in the city and take some pictures with this thing. And then when I'm done taking the pictures, we'll come back to my computer and take a look at how good these pictures are considering that you know, this thing was state of the art in 2001. Let's see how they hold up in 2018. So let's get going, go outside and take some pictures.